Ahoy hoy, and today I'm going to show you some stuff that someone has sent me in the mail. I set up a P.O. box recently specifically for the purposes of reviewing like products because every once in a while people will message me about like an SCP product. Usually it's digital or a service or something like that in, and sometimes it's not SCP related uh, that they want me to promote on my channel. And I thought to myself, I don't really want to do those things unless I can hold the products in my hand. The idea is that I want to be able to look at the thing and make a an evaluation of it, essentially, before I recommend it to my viewers. So um, I, in order to do that, I have to set up a P.O. box, obviously. And there's also been some uh, art that people have done, different kinds of art, uh, that they wanted to send me that I didn't feel comfortable giving out my home address for. I'm not a particular, like, I don't really care one way or the other. People know where I am. Like, that's not, people, like, act like that's the worst thing in the world. And for some people, it might be. For me, I don't really care. But, I don't know. I feel I should still take precautions anyway at this point. You never know. But anyway, I set up a P.O. box. And the P.O. box uh, address is going to be in the description below if you have, like, artwork or anything like that you'd like to send over my way that you think that I would enjoy that's you know that's unlikely but it's there just in case regardless uh, I'm gonna go over some of the uh, gifts that I've been sent so or I should say yeah there's multiple gifts here but they're only sent by one person um, so first of all <clears throat> I will say the these are uh, pretty amazing actually uh, this is Dr. Sumerian and this is a seal from SCP, I believe it's 3213. They had eyes. Um, there was these little button eyes that you could stick in here uh, that were stuck in here, but uh, unfortunately, they seem to have fallen out in shipping. I had one left. There was one eyeball right here. It was a one eyed guy. <laughs> but they still work, even without. I mean, they, they probably would. I can probably get some myself at some later point, but this is pretty cool. I, I have to admit. Let's see if I can stand him up. Hold on. <sighs> Look at that. It's even got the burn marks on the side. Or I was doing the wrong side right there. Uh, this is pretty cool. And then, um, I guess if I ever get a shelf set up behind me, which I might want to put something right here for like displaying stuff. If I get enough stuff, I will probably put up a shelf uh, for displaying it in the videos. But um, this, you're wrong. A little easel for it too. I think it's called an easel. Yep. <laughs> I, I actually, I love, I love both of those too, but I actually wasn't expecting this at all. And uh, I kind of like it a little bit more, maybe. I'm not sure. I mean, I, the, I, I'll say uh, the SCP uh, or the, the Dr. Sumerian thing is pretty good. Right. Uh, I'm not going to read the note that was sent here, but I will uh, say I'm reading it now because uh, I want to make sure that the crediting is done properly. These were created by at ghostly crafts on Instagram. So if you like these <laughs> really cute things, uh, check it out. And f secondary to that is this. So I was contacted by cell art um, that's C-E-L-L-A-R-T, about promoting a deck of uh, playing cards that they have SCP-themed playing cards. And I wasn't actually planning on doing it originally, because usually I say I won't promote your product until I have it in my hands, and they're like, eh, okay, fine, we'll wait, or we'll do it later, and then that later never comes. However, they were very understanding and sent me two decks of cards. Uh, I've already opened one. I left one closed so that we could uh, open it together. I op actually technically I opened one and then gave it to my dad. It's very much his. Uh, he's very uh, he's going through a goth phase. We'll say that. I'll uh, hold on real quick. I'm gonna make a little cut without. I don't want to damage it. I can probably just stick it in there. Yeah. I could be more aggressive with it and probably get this done faster, but I'm going to be careful because the box is, I'm sorry, I'm going to show it real quick. The box is actually pretty cool looking too, so I don't want to damage it. 
I actually personally, um, not even wanted to keep that other deck, but I really thought my dad would like it. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I'm actually, I have decks of playing cards all over this place. Pl uh, playing cards is actually a thing of mine that I'm, uh, I'm sometimes, I don't know why, but I'll be in like Walmart or a store or something. And, uh, on a whim, I'll just buy another deck of cards. Okay. Now, on the first glance, I just want to put this a little closer so you guys can see it. That's the box art on this side. And that side. Make sure you get that in frame. Come on, focus, focus. There we go. I had to cover up my face. All right. So, what we have here, a variety of, it looks like Series 1 SCPs, some symbols, which I'm not necessarily recognizing. Yeah, that's Series 1, Series, oh man, I used to play Magic the Gathering a lot, they have that, they have that smell. <laughs> These cards have, they have a smell, I don't know, it's weird. Not really. Hmm. It's an odd design choice. I these are very high quality. They look amazing. See that looks way better than that. It's the hmm. I got a thing I'll bring up in a second. Yeah, what is that? That's weird. So what SCPs are in here? Um, oh, this, this is the math. So here's an example of what the the art looks like. I have to put it in front of my face. And here's what the back of the cards look like. It's amazing. I actually really like this. However, there's one card that really I don't understand why it's like this. So. This is your uh, two of spades right here. Sorry, let's back it up a little bit. That's your two of spades. And this is your ace of spades. Now, I, I feel like that might be supposed to be an SCP. It's on top of the keys, but it's like multiple pieces of art, like stacked and layered for some reason. I mean, I'm giving you my honest review, by the way, obviously. The, literally every other card in this looks amazing. But that one in particular, the Ace of Spades, I, d I don't understand the design choice there. Hmm. Kind of would have been cool. I'll tell you what. So, every one of the Ace of Spades, or not Ace of Spades, every one of those Spade cards has these keys on them. What would have been interesting to me, I, I remember looking at it and thinking that it was going to be like a key ring, and, but this is probably a specific SCP. Yes, I'm critiquing something that I'm supposed to be promoting. There's going to be an affiliate link, by the way. I should make clear that. There's going to be an affiliate link in the description below, so you can purchase these, and uh, if you decide to buy them, you'll send a little bit of money my way. That's a really cool art style, though. Look. That's SCP-049. I'm, yeah, I'm a huge fan of the style, and I'm kind of surprised there are no doctors in here, though, to be fair. And annoyed. Well, I mean, a Dr. Sumerian. Could it, would it have been so bad to have a Dr. Sumerian in here? Yeah. Wow, okay. Yeah, there's just a lot of Series 1 SCPs. Regardless, though, I, I mean, I'm a huge fan of this. I'm going to keep these. These are going to be my go-to playing cards, I think, for a long, long time. Uh, yeah, I would. I highly recommend these. These look amazing. Uh, for the price point, I think... Let me just double check. Right, so they cost about $15, which is a little high for a deck of cards. But for the quality you're getting, 
I honest to God, I think this is very, very much worth it. So again, there'll be a link in the description below to the page for these. Uh, highly, highly recommended. And if you want to send me anything like uh, like this stuff over here, which makes me smile, uh, you can uh, click on the... <laughs> You click on the, or not click on, there'll be a P.O. box listed in the description. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I wanted to get this out of the way because uh, very much uh, been a bit of a hassle and a half to get that P.O. box. <laughs> so I wanted to make a video out of it. Thank you very much for watching. Hit the subscribe button. I'm not asking. Then head on over to patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Vivi. Dr. J Redacted, and Sinjariki, who have all pledged at $100, and Morgan, who has pledged at $40. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here, and I will see you all again on Tuesday. Almost forgot the day.